Good morning, everyone. How are you? Well, okay. Hi. <laughs> um, we are going to be making a skin do today. I've been wanting to make one of these for a long time. One of my mates at uni gave me a call and he was like, Nathan, you need to make me one. Uh, get it done. And so today we're going to actually start that project and we're going to make it out of pattern welded steel. So uh, I'll have to get a few bits together and then we'll get started. So we're going to start this off like any other one. First we're going to get our steel, we've got 1080, 15 and 20. We're going to clean them up and then stick them together. Ha, it helps if you plug the gas in. So the top layer, that one just never welded there, so and you can see it uh, bulging at the end, so we're just going to take that bit off and grind that down so it's nice and flat.
So at the moment I think we've got enough for two knives, uh, so I'm going to cut off at about here and then I'm going to forge weld this together and then uh, and then see what the pattern kind of looks like, forge it into a rough blade. If I don't quite like it then I've still got this to play around with, uh, so we're going to go from there. So now we're going to let that cool off and we're going to choose the bit of antler that we're going to use for the handle. Uh, I've got a few antlers and we're just going to have a look at the, which ones would be the best. We don't want it too big because we don't want this massive ski and do. It always falls out your sock and uh, it's just be really irritating. But, uh, so we'll have a look at them and then we'll choose a little bit. So there must be at least one or two good handles in here. Uh, so we're going to look through them and find a nice looking handle. Right, so I think I found a few nice ones, so I'm just going to cut them out and uh, see what fits best. So after I finished cutting them antlers, I hardened and tempered the blade, and I forgot to film it. So right now you're seeing me uh, polish the blade after it's been hardened and tempered, uh, and then we go on from there. What I'm doing now is just getting the rough measurements for the hole for the brass bolster that I'm going to put on the front. I'm going to dip it in the acid now. Sorry I forgot to film it, but I uh, 
I just glued this bit on top of there, but I put the blade in it just to make sure it uh, was like located correctly. But it's just to hold it there uh, while I sand around the edges. But when I fully glue in the blade, that's uh, that'll be it, like solid in. Right, so that's it sharpened. It's pretty sharp. Sharp enough to use dinner anyway. <laughs> uh, now we just have to put the handle on it. It's the final glue up now. Now I'm mixing up quite a lot here because I definitely want that to be completely full and to be pushing out when I push the blade in. Fill up all the air gaps. All in all, I'm super happy how the Ski and Do came out. Uh, I think it looks great. Uh, the pattern looks awesome. And uh, I think Cami will be really, really happy with it.